Hey, what's going on YouTube? Got a quick one here for you. Absolute nightmare. GM 5.3 direct injected with cylinder deactivation on demand. We were doing one injector today, one. We are now into this about six hours. As you can see, we were able to get the fuel rail off without bending the rail itself. The injector that we went to remove that needed to be replaced, number six, go figure, got stuck in the hole. So we ended up prying off the injector retainer, had to wiggle it off and work it because it slammed up against the bottom of the intake port. You will not get this all the way off without removing this first, without removing the fuel rail. So ended up prying on either side of it, walking it off so that I could get it past the tabs and get the entire rail to come off. Left the injector in the hole, was able with a pair of pliers and some persuasion, was able to get the injector out. And as you'll notice, it actually tore in half. How lovely. What a what an ingenious design. Hey, thanks, GM. You guys are just really sweethearts to us mechanics. Like, you really just have it out for us. You know, one day we might just decide, you know, hey, we'll just quit fixing your piles of junk. Good heavens. Uh, so, the injector tip ended up getting broke off and stuck down inside of the hole. You can see I've got my bore scope stuffed down in the hole. Highly recommend one of those. Ended up getting stuck down in there. Tried to use an extractor, hoping I could tap it in there and get enough of a bite. Hopefully be able to spin it out. Was not able to do that. Ended up pushing the injector tip down inside of the cylinder. Now, if this happens to you and the injector tears in half and you end up pushing it down inside of the cylinder, you have to retrieve it because it's made out of stainless steel. That will absolutely wipe out that cylinder. Damage the valves, damage the piston, absolutely cause ruckus and damage. Do not start it if you have lost the end tip out of it. You're either removing the head or your other option is to come down, find which cylinder it is, pull the spark plug out, pull the spark plug wire, spark plugs here somewhere pull your spark plug out get yourself a flexible magnet now what you're going to want to do before well before you ever push him in down inside into the cylinder what you want to do is rotate the engine over to top dead center on that cylinder that has the broken off injector in it you want to go all the way up to top dead center then push it out now, if you're intelligent and you're paying attention, you may be able to use a magnet, which is what I was able to do. You can see there's my injector tip right there. You'll notice this is a 90 degree flexible magnet, was able to stick it in there straight, was able to hit the piston, bend it over, and then I could not get full rotation around, ended up having to go back, actually had to pull the magnet back out with the injector tip sitting down in there. But what you wanna do is try to have your magnet in there first, before you push it out and that way hopefully the magnet will catch the injector before it has the opportunity to fall past because if it falls past and goes down up against the cylinder wall you're not going to be able to reach it with a magnet i ended up finding this at harbor freight and what i had to do was actually pull the magnet back out watch with the bore scope rotate the engine back down so i actually had to reverse the engine rotation and let the piston back down because you don't want to crush this into the cylinder head and then with the piston rotated down, I was able to get this at a 90 degree angle, rotated it around, got it attached, was able to pull it back out of the cylinder, and there we have it. Absolute nightmare. That cost me about three hours. Let's see if I can upsell it. More than likely, I'm going to end up eating that. I've already missed two other appointments that I was supposed to be to today. Uh, but if this happens to you, this is how you're going to get around it and how you're going to fix it. This is absolute garbage. The old ones actually had the injectors in the manifold. You had a bad injector. It was something like a half an hour to replace it. It sat right up here on top of the manifold. You weren't pulling manifolds. You weren't bending fuel rails in half, trying to get the injectors out. Um, and when you pull these, your new injector will come with a set of all of the new Teflon seals. You have to have a special kit. There's a special tool that will actually slide on and size new nylon seals you cannot reuse these you can roll the dice but if they leak guess who's going back in there to do the job again you are hope this helps somebody out along the lines this is just an absolute nightmare this never should have happened and you can see 
The metal right there is actually torn. What an absolute joke. Thanks, GM. Thanks for screwing the techs again on that one.